Ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true. Only the names have been changed to protect the innocent. UOW presents... Good evening. I'm Detective Sergeant Snufflesnout. Tonight, I'll take you step by step on the side of the law through an actual case from police files. Today we face real criminal threat. A gang of hardened thugs has been terrorizing the precinct. The main suspects are the feral gang. Feral dog. A dangerous brute often let go by its human owner, Fox. A sneaky ambush artist with a taste for your fur. A feral cat. This is one of the nastiest mobsters out there. Our information tells us that the feral cat population is more than 17 million throughout the district. Rabbit. This character has been brought in for questioning by our scientists. Some early evidence says that this suspect, once thought of as stealing food and habitat, now may be able to live in proximity to our fellow bilbies. But scientific teams are watching you closely at the Arid Recovery Project. Better to keep him off the streets for good. Humans, these sinister characters are the Mr. Biggs behind the criminal disturbances. They are certainly behind getting the feral gangs together. Also, major land clearing and introducing hoofed livestock to our streets. Compacting the soil and creating erosion and destroying our restaurants and food outlets. 200 years ago, Bilby's Macrotus Legotus occupied more than 70% of the mainland Australia. Now pushed out and reduced to small isolated populations in desert areas. Be Bilby safe. So what can you do about that crime? Remember to keep building your burrows in the Bilby way. Keep up the traditional spiral network and keep them deep. Up to two meters. Scientists say our burrows not only keep you cool, but help maintain a high soil moisture content. That's good for you and good for your food sources. And gather food when you can. I like to go for your traditional omnivore diet. Worms, grasshoppers, seeds, bugs that live on the hop bush, roots of specific plants like behavior and the bush onion or yalka. To fight back, we've had to ally ourselves with humans. Some are sympathetic to our plight and wish to aid us. The best solution that scientists can come up with is several fortified compounds dotted around Australia, equipped with electric fences and ranges to keep the feral gang out. Major interventions are at Karawinya National Park in Queensland, the Tanami Indigenous Protection Area, the Arid Recovery Project at Roxby Downs, and Thistle Island Sanctuary. Various Australian zoos, such as Queensland and Melbourne, have breeding programs where scientists are learning more about us. They're learning about our habitat and keeping track of our communities with electronic tracking devices. Greater bilbies like me are on the endangered list. We don't want to go the way our cousins have gone. Extinct. With the help of humans and their science, we are working on ways to make this land a safer place for our Bilby families. Be Bilby safe! Sergeant Snuffle Snout, over and out. Thank you.